Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There in Iran, they said this earthquake that occurred there was a magnitude 5.1. USGS for some reason said it was a 4.6. Two people were killed and dozens injured. EMSC said it was originally a 4.8. This morning it was changed to a 4.6. It was shallow, 7 kilometers in depth. That depth has also been changed. USGS says it was 10 kilometers in depth. But this earthquake got me looking into all the recent earthquakes that have been occurring along the Mediterranean Sea and also in Afghanistan, etc., China. A woman there in Iran posted on Twitter asking the question, why were there so many earthquakes in Iran? Here you can see the Caspian Sea. That was my first um, quest for knowledge, I guess you could say. And the answer to why we're having this whole line of earthquakes, you can see the line, is so simple. I'm surprised that geologists, scientists, don't make it readily available. Millions of years ago, when we had the supercontinent Pangaea, it started to break up into four different sections. The uh, continents started moving around the planet. This whole area was open at that time, what was called the Tethys Sea. Originally, it was called Tethys Ocean, and as the continents moved around, it became a narrow strip. You know, as North American plate moved northward and twisted around. You can see here we got Siberia, we got South China, um, Pangaea, Australia, India, Antarctica. The movement of the tectonic plates is very interesting, at least for me. But throughout this whole area right here, yeah, it became, as this closed up, became the um, Tethys Sea. On Wikipedia, they have another example of the drawing as the uh, supercontinent. It wasn't really called the supercontinent, but that's what I'm calling it. Decided to break up. Using Google Earth, um, I put some labels on here to make it more uh, understandable. Here we got the Black Sea. That's actually part of the ancient Tethys Ocean. The Caspian Sea. That's all, also a remnant. And then we got the Mediterranean Sea. And I've talked about how the uh, the plates, the continents are moving. Africa is moving towards Europe. Um, it's sliding under. This whole area is actually moving north. Eventually, um, the Rock of Gibraltar, that narrow inlet into um, the Mediterranean Sea, it's going to collide, create mountains. All through here, it's going to move up. And we're seeing the effects of this as these continents move with all these earthquakes along this this line that I showed you earlier. So going back to this originally, 5.1, 4.8, and the Caspian Sea. Yeah, that's interesting too because it's having the same effect as what's going on in the Caribbean. Um, this ocean or sea, the Caspian Sea, is being crushed. The north is sliding south, and here I found a paper with the different fault lines. Here we got Turan and the different fault lines. You can see the movement towards uh, the north. We got um, other fault lines. Let me bring this up for you. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. So I was wondering too, um, seeing how they're in the Caribbean. Uh, because of the crushing effect from the continents of the movement of the Atlantic Ocean and the Pacific Ocean. Um, they got magnetic anomalies going on. Yeah, I'm going to have to look that up. I would not be surprised if there's magnetic anomalies going on in this area too. I made it a little bit bigger so you can see the fault lines down here by Turan and the movement of the different fault zones and the plate. All these ancient rifts and fault zones, uh, the continents. Yeah, I've talked about how they're showing increase in activity lately. On the 6th, there was a 5.1 there in China. Today, there was a 4.0 in Greece, a 4.8 in Greece, a 4.0 in Greece, um, a 4.6 in Iran, 
that was actually yesterday, here on Twitter, they are reporting that it was, in fact, a 5.1. At that time, one person was killed um, from head injuries or falling debris. The other one um, died of a heart attack, evidently. Some of the felt reports on EMSC, one says, I was sleeping, but suddenly I woke up and felt the earthquake. It was about six kilometers from my house, and it was so dangerous because the old buildings, which is in this area. Many people posted how terrible it was. This one said, running away to free spa space. I felt it for around five seconds. Both of these say they felt it for about five seconds. This one here says they felt it for about 20 seconds. Must have been a foreshock because they felt it. It was two times. First one was weaker, then ran to the door, and the second one was stronger and took longer. Here, about 56 kilometers west from where it occurred, which would be about 34.8 miles, two different vibrations were felt. The first one was small shakes, and after about five seconds, strong shakes, with a duration of five seconds. Now, this one posted, oh, a little more than three hours ago, said they counted 19 quakes. This Twitter post, I'm not sure what they're showing here, uh, maybe a cemetery. You can see the fault lines that opened up. And, of course, many people went outside, fearing the collapse of the buildings. Many people slept outside in their vehicles. Just like other places around the world, they got the COVID-19 virus. And, yeah, it makes you wonder how many people are going to be exposed. In this image, we got two with masks on, sitting outside. One of the aftershocks is listed on EMSC, which is a 4.6. Anyways, I'm just really surprised that they don't talk about how this was all once part of the Teeth Oceans or uh, the Teeth Sea. And, you know, the tectonic uh, continents, the plates are still moving. And we're seeing that effect going on. And as the Earth's magnetic field weakens, I keep saying, we're going to see an increase in all these earthquakes. Yeah, it's so simple once you have the information to understand why these earthquakes are occurring along here. And yeah, you have to wonder why haven't they explained that to people. So what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I'll talk to you later. God bless y'all.